because um, someone requested me to make a video of sokto, sokte, etc. So all about um, the feet. So uh, let me explain that to you today. In well, in Japanese, we call this ball of the foot koshi. This part. And primarily for the modern Shotokan karate, when we kick, we just use the koshi of the feet, so ball of the foot, and then bring the knee up, bring it forward, and then with a bit of hip engagement, that's for the magiri. And then sokto, the edge of the foot, okay, so this, this part. Sokto is used for yokogi, particularly keage. This is the point of the context. Um, if you are kicking, this, this is the part you are kicking. Um, and then if you're doing kekomi, you're actually using sort of more like a kakato. It's a bit like ushirogiri, but in a Um, and then in step of the foot, which is here and here, that's hai soku. Hai means back or behind, um, so we call it hai soku. So, so don't mix up with hei soku. Hei soku dachi is to, hei is a um, parallel feet, hai soku is the back of the feet. So it's, um, used for kingeri, growing attack. So that was the um, sokto for the yokogiri, and this is hai soku. What? Movement. Then, um, in the old days, or in Okinawa karate, they use um, uh, sokto, which is like this. So in the old days, they, they primarily wore um, thongs. Um, well, that's what in Australia we call it thongs. I think sandals in American English. Um, and it's we because we're wearing that. Um, well, I'll just bring the thongs. Um, So the feet is exposed here. So this has to be strong for the impact. I mean, it's, we still wear thongs in summer, so it's nothing wrong with training them. But we don't really do in the Shotokan syllabus these days. But in uh, Uechiryu people, I know that they train and, you know, make the, this, this part of the foot very strong and also you know, their pain threshold is amazing. So it just becomes a very strong thing and you can go boom with that. A little bit of, so it's fingers clenched and go boom. Um, I'm not trained in that way, so I can't really demonstrate beautifully, <laughs> but um, this is the strength. And they, yeah, I've seen people just training every morning, just hitting the floor like that. Um, and um, then uh, this is sokte in step or inside, uh, not in step, inside of the foot. Um, and it's, this is also not commonly used in Shotokan anymore, but like this, so go in, in. Um, I see it a lot in uh, Chinese martial arts, like boom, and it's kind of effective in a very close distance. Um, and then you can also use it for like this. You're sort of blocking, which we use this, so, not as a kick, but we use it as um, a mikazuki geri. Uh, yeah, I guess it's a it's a kick, but it is just like if somebody is attacking and with with hands or higher, you block with the feet, and you practice the nikata by slapping it. Um, so that's sokte. Um, I hope that clarifies the difference in all the kicks, um, and I I find it this one, you know. Particularly this like blocking and going in this movement of or Mikazuki for example is particularly useful to feel the Yokogiri 
um, uh, <laughs> keage in pom. So instead of like getting ready and pom, like you know, get ready, lift and pom, um, it's too too much of a block movement. But if you think of you're going using that sort of like um, ashibarai feeling, and then you go pom, then you can actually do. You can also do a bit of a faint technique. Bum, bum. This is a little kick and bum. Um, So this activating the sokte uh, usage is this quite low. And then you can combine that um, uh, sok. Oh my god, sokto. <laughs> I'm getting all confused with the Japanese. And here, bum. Then you can combine this. First, sokte sokto, um, and that's quite useful um, activation of the hip joint and the balance. And you can also use like you know, one fight kick and then kick high kick, and then shiro, one and all sorts of stuff. But so if you're really active with all the usage of the feet, particularly us modern people um, wear shoes all the time, so the feet are not very active even with the kids I ask them to like for example rotate the foot they can only rotate from like the knee they don't know how to separate the movement without raising the knee um, and and the foot can be very very inactive and then uh, I hear that's pretty much 90% of the cause of fall when you get older because they just don't have the dexterity or alertness in your feet anymore so you know learning all the kicking movement i think it's also enhanced thy health anyway hope that answers your question Os.